everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I thought we would just do a little study of a eye. Um, this is going to be a horse's eye and in this tutorial I want to just use one pencil. So um, we're going to use the black, oops, uh, the black pencil um, and I'm also going to use the white and we're going to use the black and white pencil to show how we can build up a realistic looking eye with a very limited palette of colours. Obviously in my tutorials, if you followed along, you can see that I really like to go to town with the amount of colours that I use in my portraits. I, I use a lot. <laughs> so I just wanted to take this right back down to basics and make it as simple as uh, we can. This uh, line art and the reference photo is in my Facebook group. Um, I am aiming to get everything added onto my website as well for people who don't have Facebook. Please bear with me. I'm catching up with everything. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. So let's just get on with this tutorial. Okay, so we are going to uh, make sure your black pencil is nice and sharp. We're going to start off how we normally do all our eyes, getting the outline drawn in. Um, but we do want a really sharp pencil. You're going to press quite... Not too hard, about medium pressure. We don't want to go in straight away really dark with the black. We're going to get the outlines in and um, hopefully we'll create an eye with just one pencil. So I'm just going to start off by, as I mentioned, getting this outline. So I'm not pressing hard. Now this point is what I would normally use my uh, dark sepia for. But I understand that everybody has the dark sepia, so you can go straight in with your black when you're doing the um, eye tutorials. Now it's quite a detailed eye, but we're just going to take it step by step and we're going to just slowly build up all the shapes within the eye itself. Now this might be a two-part tutorial. Um, it's kind of an extra tutorial for this month. Because the uh, Dalmatian tutorial, real-time tutorial, didn't take as long as I first initially imagined. <laughs> Quite a quick one, so I did say I would do another tutorial. Um, and I thought doing a focus tutorial on an eye would help. And it may be something that I keep doing in the future, just little focus tutorials. So that line is not smooth at all. And I'm just going to map in all the different shapes that I can see. And then it's quite a complicated eye, but we'll just break it down into little sections. Like so. Okay, so I've mapped in the general shape of the eye. Now, you'll notice I've not erased any of the graphite, and that's because we are using the black. In some of the areas where it's really light, I will um, erase that graphite lines. Uh, don't need to when we're going around the eye, because this is going to be dark. This is going to end up really black. And then I'm just going to start by mapping in some of the darker shapes that I can see in this eye. Now, I'm not focusing on what, what is being reflected within the eye itself. What we, what we are um, wanting to focus on is just the shapes that you can see. What are the darkest shapes that you see within this eye? And let's just get them drawn in. So don't focus on what's actually being reflected. Focus on the shapes. And I say this with all the eye tutorials that we do, or all the parts of the eye. You're just drawing in the shapes that you can see. That needs to come down here. And I'm kind of ignoring part of the um, these guidelines. They're not exactly accurate. And this is going to be quite dark. So I'm just going to use circular motions, light pressure. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm just building up, starting to build up the shapes within this eye. And then we've got a dark shape here. 
So I'm using little, again, those little circular lines, light pressure, and I'm just building up the shapes. And hopefully this tutorial will just show you that we don't need to use all the colours. If you have a limited palette, we can still create something realistic with just a small amount of colours. Okay, so we've got mapped in, we've got this dark shape in the middle of the eye, and then we've got this line going across here. And it's just going to be a matter of just constantly building up these shapes. I'm just going to round this off a little more. We've not gone in too dark anyway yet. We're just using light pressure just to slowly build up all these shapes. I'm going to bring this across. All I'm doing is just drawing in the darkest shapes I can see. That's coming across here as well. And then down the bottom of this eye, we've got another dark shape here. And by mapping in these darkest shapes, we've got what will be our dark points to compare and contrast with. So we've, oh, hang on, what have I done there? That looks too high up. That's a line. Hang on. I've done that a little too high up. Where's my bloody eraser? Not that it'll matter. Um, just lift that up a little bit. Or maybe I've done this line too far down. It doesn't matter if you get the lines incorrect because they will. Um, it will all still make sense in the end. So that's a lighter bit. So this is the dark patch here. And that's going to come down. Yeah, so it's that line that I should have drawn in. Okay, that's fine. It will still make sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, as I was saying, getting these darks in, we're just, obviously we're not pressing hard yet, we're just mapping them in. But getting these in first is going to give us that point of reference for our darkest points and then we know how dark to build up the rest of the shadows and the mid-tones and the highlights. Okay and then that looks about right that's coming down there. I feel like that's probably right. I feel like I've missed a whole part of this eye and I shouldn't have done. This is the darkest bit, I think. Because that's going to be dark. Right, we'll work it out. <laughs> Just shows sometimes eyes are complicated. Right, so I'm now going to come in and I'm just going to really darken up the outside of this eye. You can see I'm constantly turning my pencil so that I'm using the sharpest point. So I've not resharpened this pen oh. I've not resharpened this pencil yet. We're just using the sharpest point over and over. Right. And then I'm going to come into this eye and I know that this section here is dark. So I'm going to increase my pressure with the black and we're going to make this dark. And this is going to be one of the darkest parts within the eye itself. 
So this is a nice point of reference for us to work from. And then I'm just going to darken this edge here where it's a bit darker and then use lighter pressure as we bring out sort of like a mid-tone grey. So you could do this eye all in your grey pencils. Um, either use just your warm greys or just your cold greys and you could really build up a nice eye and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my white over the top of that lighter area and we're using this white just to help with the blending and smoothing out and then if we need to go back in with a black We can, and then I'm just going to do the same along here. So this is just going to be a matter of building up the tones, using the white to help with the blending, and then just reapplying darker tones where we need the darker tones. But using just the one pencil, I hope it um, is just a nice and simple way to work. I still would like to do a piece um, all in black and white, but maybe we just use the warm greys. So with this piece, you'll see me just swapping back and forth between the white and the black. The white's just going to help with the blending, and then we'll just go back over with the black and just darken those areas that we need to. So this is probably a piece where you could probably just go on and not really need to follow the tutorial. You just need to focus on the shapes that you can see within the eye itself and just build up those values. And this is going to be a great tutorial for you to show to um, see that it is all about your values. When you're doing your portraits and you want it to look realistic, I'm always talking about getting your darks dark, your lights light. So this is a great way of showing you that it's all about those values. Okay, what I'm going to do here, we've got like a highlight coming down here. So I'm just going to take my white first and I'm just going to map in that highlight. And then I'm just going to very lightly over the top with that black. And then back over with the white. So that's going to give us that nice highlighted area that we can just work around. And I'm using just circular me uh, circular motions with the um, pencils. Back in. It's not going to be the most chatty <laughs> tutorial, but just build up your values very slowly. I'm just going to come in here. So we're just going to keep switching between your black and your white. And you could do this with any colour pencil. Maybe we should do that. What do you think? Maybe we could just use a blue pencil, pink pencil for an eye. Because it's all about those values. And then I'm just going to darken So as I'm darkening up, I'm just um, decreasing my pressure to blend it into that light area. And then we'll just get the white. And 
over the top here. And then we darken the outside of this eye. And then I just feel like I just need a little bit more depth here. So we're doing it just little corner by corners. And just there. And so we're just really now, really starting to build up all the details within the eye. I'm just going to come back along here. Harder pressure, I want that to be nice and defined there. Okay, and then I'm just going to do this tree line so that we can get in the top area here. So yeah, I'll, I'll do this in parts. We'll... Um, we won't do the full tutorial, um, full eye in this tutorial. I don't want to rush it and I, I want to make it as easy and as accessible as we can. Go back over with the white. Now I was going to do, um, I think I mentioned I was going to do some French Bulldogs for um, April's tutorial, next month's tutorial. Um, but we, um, we're going to do a cat. Uh, we're going to change it up and we're going to do a cat. I'm going to start moving on to some other types of animals. Um, I'd also like to draw a zebra or zebra. Um, Maybe we'll wait on that one because we've done quite a lot of um, black and white animals recently. But I would like to draw one. I think that would make a really fun tutorial. Right, so we've got in this sort of horizon line. And now we've got a really light background. So we're just going to use really light pressure. So hold your pencil higher up if you're not comfortable with your pressures yet. And just use short circular motions, very light pressure. You can see how light this pressure is. It's barely leaving pigment. You want your pencil to just be touching that paper and just leaving the lightest of pigments. So this is also a great tutorial for doing your pressure tests and using light pressure and hard pressure. So at the moment we probably we are using the lightest pressure that um, we need to. And then I'm going to go over that with a harder pressure with a white just to really push that pigment into the paper. I feel like I may have used the wrong side of the Fabriano. It's fine, we'll just keep working with it. I'm making sure I'm using the sharp point to cover all the tooth for this paper. Okay, so you can already see, just by using one pencil, we've already got some really nice darks and a really nice light area. And I'm just going to go back over with light pressure in any areas which are a little bit darker. Now, they're not going to be too dark, but there's some areas that just have that little bit more pigment on the reference photo. So I'm just adding another layer of the black. Now we will be um, adding some of the fur around the eye as well. And uh, for anybody who's watched my tutorials previously, you'll know that I like to add a little bit of fur around the eyes. 
uh, just to give them some context. Otherwise it just looks like it's a floating eye. <laughs> so um, we will be um, adding a little bit of the fur, which will also show you how I would do like the texture around the horse's eye um, in a commission. I don't get horses very often, but um, obviously I'm known for my dogs, hence all the dog tutorials, but <laughs> we're doing a horse eye. Okay, and then uh, circular motions with the white again. Now all my, um, I got this question the other day, um, all my real time tutorials, I'm drawing them on an A4 sheet of paper, so that's um, 9 by 11 inches, um, and they'll all be that size. I I was going to do some larger drawings, but um, like I say, we only use the polychromos because I want it to be accessible for everybody, and not everybody can get larger sheets of paper. So we're just going to stick to doing A4 and just the polychromos pencils so that it's accessible for everybody. Um, and then I'm coming back in with a black around the top of this eye. Some little details in here, little lines. So you can see now we're really starting to um, get a nice look at this um, reflection. So I'm just going to come back into this area. And again, we're just building up the shapes that we can see. Use that little highlight area there. You may even do some of these little focus tutorials with a normal amount of colour. Could do a little eye in colour, do like little noses. For people that just want to do little areas and want to focus on maybe areas you're not you're not strong at drawing. Maybe you struggle with dog noses, and we'll do a few dog noses. Um, I'm just going to darken along here as well. So this is this part of the um, eye is going to be a lot of back and forth between darkening areas, making areas look lighter. So don't worry if you have to go back and forth all the time we are shading. You're using light pressure. So by using light pressure, we can constantly keep building up areas that need to go a little darker. Okay, and then I'm just going to... Here and then this area is dark. So, any areas that I know are black, I'm just going straight in with the black pencil and using really dark, um, hard pressure. Sorry. So that it comes out black and this is why i say in other tutorials if you have an area that's black you don't have to go in i obviously go in with quite a few blues first build up some colors underneath the black but you don't need to you can just go straight in with black hard pressure build up those layers and i'm just gonna smooth out here Okay, and then down here, and then again, light pressure, circular strokes, just to build up this tonal value.
And then in this section here, I'm just going to use the white pencil. Just to help smooth that out. And then I can come back in here and build up another layer of that black. And then we can go over and smooth it out with the white. And again, just I'm just building up the tone. Building it up to the colour that I think looks right. It's not as dark as a pure black, but it's pretty dark. By building up the layers, we're just really going to start to see this really nice reflection coming through now. So we're using that white to blend and to soften, to burnish into the paper, and we're just using the black pencil to build up our tonal values. And can you see, this is obviously like a graphite drawing in a way. We're just using the one pencil, but by building up all these tones, we're really starting to get different variations of tones within this eye. Okay, so I'm doing this very slowly. We're not going in straight away using really hard pressure. We're building up these layers slowly. And by building up these layers slowly, we're getting these variations within the colours, even though we are just using black. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this so far, pretty happy. Let's just bring this down here, okay. Right, I'm just going to work out, we've got a little line here, so bring that across. And then I'm just going to blend over this highlight quite a few times I really want this to be a um, a highlight it's going to help us give us that glassy look to the eye okay okay there's also a highlight at the uh, this side of the eye so I'm just going to come in with the white And it's okay if you get a little bit of grey from that black that we've got on the outside. Remember the black polychromous pencil does smudge quite a bit. And then I'm just going to lightly come over with a black. And then I'm going to come back in here with a white. Okay, so that's our little highlights added. And then I'm just going to come down here. We've got quite a lot of dark shadows coming on at the bottom of this eye so just going to map in these darker lines and over here I also hope you're all keeping warm. I'm filming this obviously ahead of time, but it's um, snowing today. It's freezing again. I probably say this all the time that it's so cold, <laughs> but it is cold. I've also um, been to some dog shows recently and got my own reference photos, um, which I'm I'm going to use one or two for the YouTube tutorials. 
but I do think that I'm going to try and save them for Patreon uh, when I set up a Patreon. Um, and that way, people that join my Patreon, you get exclusive rights to just uh, use the photos I've used. Um, the majority of these photos that we're using for the YouTube tutorials uh, are on Pixabay or Unsplash. Um, so anybody can draw the drawing. They don't even have to follow my tutorial. Um, whereas I, I think it'd be nice if you all, um, especially if you're going to be paying to learn to draw or learn to follow along tutorials, um, I think it'd be nice if it's a bit more exclusive and it's only photos that you can get from me. So hopefully in the next half a year or so, we'll set up a um, Patreon. But for now, we're just going to stick to doing the YouTube tutorials. I'm going to try my best to keep them monthly. Um, I've had a lot go on recently. Um, I've had a video go viral. So I'm um, a bit busy. So if I don't get a tutorial out in time... Um, I am sorry, but playing around with commissions, spaces, and do it, keeping up with this. Obviously, you can't plan to go viral, so it definitely wasn't in the plans. <laughs> but we're going to keep trying to keep ahead with um, filming, so that there's always a tutorial out for you guys. So you can see I've I mapped in the darker lines, and then I'm using a sort of a medium pressure with this black, oops, just to come in, and I need to darken, just going to resharpen my black, I want to make sure that that tip of my pencil stays really sharp, especially when we're outlining the um, outside of this eye, it's got a quite a sharp harsh line, so I've got to make sure that my pencil stays really sharp as I come round here. And then I'm using hard pressure because I want this to be black. I do want this to be really dark. Okay. And then again, I'm just going to build up those really dark shadows. Just by pressing harder. These darker lines. Now this eye might not be exact to the reference photo when you're doing your details. Don't worry about it doesn't have to be exact. We're not replicating a photo. We're doing our interpretation of the photo. And as long as everything is more or less in the correct place, we've got the correct shape to the eye, the details within the eye are more or less accurate, every eye is going to reflect something different. So all we're doing is just drawing the reflections to build up this eye. I don't know how much of this eye will actually get done in this tutorial. Maybe we'll get this middle section done and then the next part will just be about building up fur and finishing it off. We'll see. Hopefully it'll just be a two-part tutorial. If we need to go to three parts, we will. Don't want to rush it. We want to just take our time. Especially because with this tutorial, like I've mentioned, we are really just focusing on those tonal values and if it takes time to build them up it takes time we're in no rush so you can see how light this the white takes when you um, burnish the black obviously it does lighten it up i'm gonna have to sharpen this white as well that's fine, you just want to keep building on top with your layers. And 
this is why it is quite a tedious process. It's just a lot of back and forth. Build up those layers. Take your time to do so. Don't rush. We don't need to rush. be nice to have an eye finished in an hour but if it takes four hours if it takes ten hours it takes as long as it takes i really don't want you guys to think you've got a rush just do it in your own time there's no time limits it takes as long as it takes you to draw it if you need to slow down the tutorial slow down the tutorial if you want to go faster than the tutorial go faster like Work at your speed. Okay, and then I'm just going to sharpen my white. And then just coming back in. With the white. And then I'll probably make one more pass with a black pencil and just really focus on those details. Because I've got quite a nice depth here now. Built up that colour quite nicely. Just gonna make sure here. So I'm just gonna come back in with a black now. And just really focus on these tones. Just draw away from the pencil. It's looking quite good, is this eye? Yeah, we definitely need to do more tutorials like this. Have loads of eyes looking up at you. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I may need to change some bits, but it's looking good. Just going to darken here now. So very, I'm not pressing hard. When I say I'm darkening an area, it's just another layer of pencil. I'm not pressing too hard, just adding extra details I can see. And that's coming across here as well. Now the rest of this eye is quite detailed, but we don't need to get it exact. We just need those tones to be correct. And you can see already, we've built all of this eye up and all these tonal values with just the black pencil, black and white. Right, so I'm just going to sharpen this edge of this up. Move that there. Okay. Right, so we're going to work on this middle section of the eye where we haven't got any um, black pencil down. And I'm just going to lift some of this graphite. Um because I want to come in with the white pencil and we're going to use the white pencil like we've done for those highlights just to create some of that detail that's going on within the eye. Um, it kind of, the white pencil and the polychromos acts as a resist. Um, you don't get as many layers over the top of it. You can see just how light these areas are where we've done the white. So we're just going to add in some of the details with the white pencil. I'm just making my pretty razor a bit warmer it's not warm it's a bit stiff there we go okay so create a shape out of the putty eraser just gonna lift some of this graphite and also I'm just gonna take this putty eraser and in this eye here, we've got some, obviously we've got these eyelashes to add, but we do have a lighter area here. I'm just going to come in and just lift a little bit. So the putty erasers, or even any eraser, is really good for just bringing out some of those highlights. Within your piece, you could use this for your fur. I don't tend to use my, um, my erasers to add in details, uh, which you can do. Um, I tend to just do it all with the pencil. Okay, and I'm just going to bring that white in again. 
just where I've lifted some pigment. Okay, right, let me just... Right, lifted some of that pigment off. So we've got, all I'm doing, I've got a nice sharp, oh, you can't see the pencil, nice sharp white pencil. And I'm just going to come in and I'm going to press hard. I've got some of those white lines here. And any areas where I just want a bit of a resist. So down here. Now you're not going to be able to see, obviously, where, where I'm adding this white pencil. So all you need to do is look at that reference photo. And where do you see any of the lighter areas? And just add in a bit of the white. Press quite hard. You want you do want it to be a resist. You do want to um, create that resist. I've got a bit of a lighter area going on here. It doesn't need to be loads, just little bits here and there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my black and again I'm going to use very light pressure and I'm just going to start circular motions. And here, do you see where we've used that white? You can see now we've got that resist going on. So if I do it here, I've got white up here. If I bring this white, uh, this black, sorry, over that white, can you see how it just gives you that nice resist and you've got those white lines left? So it's almost like we've indented the paper to create that texture. Very light pressure. I'm not pressing hard at all at this point. Just going to build up the colour ever so gently, ever so lightly. We'll build up all the details very carefully. So I think we'll probably, once we've built up some of this, I'll we'll probably end the tutorial there. Um, and then we'll we'll do the next part. Um, building up like the fur around the eye, uh, finishing off the actual eye itself. It's quite a large eye. Um, I, I, will, I will measure the eye. I've not measured it. Um, I'll make sure before you even start the tutorial, you've got how tall, um, how small. Words, how big a piece um, this is, um, so that you can do yours similar size. You can do it smaller, you can do it larger, do it whatever size um, you wish, but I will make sure you've got the measurements. You should have the outline, um, but don't worry if you don't use the outline. I've kind of ignored all the little details within this eye itself. Don't really need as many details, but they're there if you need them. So I'm not going to go over this yet with the white. You can see where we've got the white resisting in areas. Um, so we're just going to build up from there. So I'm just going to start building up where I can see darker tonal values. I'm just going to bring that across there. And I'm not worrying about the little details. All I'm doing is I'm looking at the colour. So if you're struggling to see past the details, um, you can either blur your reference photo or you can, if you squint your eyes, everything will sort of go out of focus um, and you'll be able to focus on the tones that way. And that's all we're focusing on. We're not focusing on details. We just want to build up that colour. Details will come at the end. And as we're building up this, these tones and these uh, values, you are kind of building up some of the detail already because you're just focusing on the areas where that darker colour is, if you're working on a darker colour or a lighter colour. 
And it's just sort of bringing in those details itself. You'll have to let me know if you um, want to do more little focus tutorials like this in the future. Um, I did have, I did want to do these initially, but we've been focusing on the real-time tutorials. So um, if you do enjoy doing a bit more of a focus tutorial, which I know it's still quite a long tutorial. Um, but it means that you can really just focus on one area. You're not worrying about doing a whole a whole drawing. Um, or even if you just prefer this whole one pencil scenario or two pencils because we have got the white as well but do you prefer like the limited palettes would you want to do more uh, do let me know uh, I do want to make this YouTube channel for you so your input and suggestions are always always greatly received so can you see we've just started building up the tones and we're really starting to just get some detail within this eye, on this side of the eye. Um, I think we'll just focus on this side for now. We may The next part we may finish off this eye. Um, I do want to keep it to about an hour of tutorial, so I think it may be about a three part tutorial. So I'm just going to go back over some of this uh, that I've already added down the dark shades. Just to build up those tones in here. And I'm not worried about this being exact. I just want it to look similar to the eye. And obviously we want it to look like an eye, but I'm not worried about it being exact. It doesn't need to be. Got to remember, obviously you guys have seen the reference photo, but if you were to just do this eye and just show it to your friends and family, they're not going to see the reference photo. So they're not going to know if you've missed out a blade of grass <laughs> or if you've missed out part of the shadows. Um, as long as you've got those tones right, it's going to look correct. Okay, so I'm just now going to come in with my white. I'm not going to press too hard. We're just going to use this white. To just help burnish and blend some of this area together. And then we can start building up on those tone values again. So I can see here we've already we need to blend uh, darken here because this highlight is blending too much into this section. Okay, so I'm going to come back in with this black. I'm just going to... See, that's got a harsh line, so I'm just going to darken that harsher line there. And then I'm just going to start to build up the colour again. So, circular motions. And we've got a dark section here. So I'm just, any areas that are a little darker that aren't black, I'm not pressing too hard, but areas that are darker in value, I am just increasing my pressure ever so slightly. I'm not pressing down too hard. We don't want it to be black, but we want it to be darker. I do think I may do more of these, especially with a black pencil, because I think it's going to be... A great way of you um, learning your pressures and learning to be lighter handed. Um, because it's hard. When I first started out with coloured pencils, I definitely was too heavy handed. So this would have definitely been just a black eye. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have had any of these values going on when I first started. It would have just been a black eye. And that's fine. Don't worry. It's all a learning curve. Every drawing that you do is all a step in your art journey. And it's all about you learning. 
to get to a point where you want to be. And we're all still learning. You, you never stop learning. Every piece that I do, I learn from. I'm learning from this piece myself. That I'm definitely being too heavy-handed sometimes. I'm also learning that I don't need to go in and add all the details. Because that's definitely something that I do. I like to go in and add all the details. And you don't need to. So doing these YouTube tutorials is definitely helping me. Because... I am stripping them back so that it's easy and accessible for you guys. And it's teaching me that in my, my own work, I can strip back and I don't need to add everything that I see. So we never stop learning. Okay. So you can see we've just built up some of those values again. And then I'm going to go back in with the white. I'm not pressing too hard with the white but just hard enough that it's blending and softening some of these values. We want to be able to work on top of this white. We don't want it to be like up here where we've got that resist going on. So if you're finding that you can't work on top of the white, you've just pressed too hard. But don't worry about it. As I like to say, practice makes progress. So this is this may be something that you, you do quite often. You may take a, a picture of an eye if you've got your own drawings of an eye. And have a go at doing it in black and white. Turn, turn the image black and white. And just have a go. See, see what you can do with just the black pencil. Or, or a blue pencil, green pencil. Just use one pencil. And just see what you can do. with a limited palette because this is definitely all about our contrasts so like now I'm starting to see that this can be darker so we're just going to come in now this is why I haven't added the um, eyelashes yet because I want to be able to darken any areas first they're like the final details so like I'm coming in and I'm just going to darken this and this area could be darker So it is a slow process, but it's all worth it in the end. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. <laughs> okay. Pretty happy with this side of the eye. So you can kind of see it's kind of just a bunch of lines going on. I'm not really sure what's happening. But it's still starting to look like an eye. So I'm just going to do the same on this side. We'll finish this side um, before the we finish the tutorial. And then the, um, so the next part of the tutorial, we will um, tidy up this inside of the eye um, and probably get started on the outside. And then I think the third part of the tutorial will be the fur. Um, I don't want to rush it. I want, I want us to have a nice realistic looking eye at the end. So we, we'll take our time. Especially this is, like I say, this is a bonus tutorial for March because the um, Dalmatian was a quick tutorial. Didn't take me as long to finish that piece as I expected. Although I did, um, we did end up with a faded edge instead of doing the collar. Um, I just preferred that one with the faded edge. Okay, so this needs to be a bit darker here, and then it's... So I know I've mentioned about doing two, two French Bulldogs. Uh, we will eventually do that, but um, next month we're doing a cat, um, and it is a, nearly an all-white cat. Um, I've had a few tutorial requests for a really light animal um, or a pure white animal. So that's what we're kind of focusing on with the cat. Um, and it's a different animal. We, we've done a lot of dogs. Um, obviously, we're doing a horse eye now. So I, I do want to start doing some other animals, some wildlife soon. 
Okay, and then I'm going to do oh, again with the white. Very lightly, just to help with the blending. So I think I found a, I finally think I found a donkey reference. Um, I've been going on about drawing a donkey for a while. <laughs> so we will, um, we will be drawing a donkey. Um, I've also found a fox. Um, what else have I got? Uh, a zebra, like I mentioned earlier. And a hare. Um, so I think what I may do is like one month we'll do a dog, one month we'll do a wildlife piece and we'll just alternate. Um, if you're in the Facebook group, I do put up questions and posts about wh which which one would you like to see. Um, so make sure you, you're over there because um, I will probably put out a vote after the cat about our next piece, um, which will be like a wildlife piece. Um, so yeah, I, I, like I say, I, I want this channel to be for you guys and these tutorials to be for you so if there's anything in particular you want to see do let me know and if i can get a nice reference photo um we'll, we'll draw it and i will talk you through the steps of drawing it so you can see we're just starting to really darken up areas a lot of this eye does need darkening up again um, but we've we've got the basics down. We've got the shapes in. We're starting to build up those tones. But yeah, the next part will definitely be about darkening up a lot of this eye. But we're not going to rush it. We're just going to take our time. Very slowly. Building up the values that we can see. And I'm just going to press harder around here and darken this up. And then the white again. So you can see, when we look at the reference photo, this area is light. So this is as light as we want this area to be. So this shows me that we really need to come back into these areas and really darken it up. So this is why I like to get a dark point in, which this could go darker. And um, we are limited to how dark the polychromous black goes. If um, you have something like the Derwent Drawing Ivory Black, I would use that as your darkest black, um, especially in the centre of this eye, because that will go really dark. But we've got our dark and our light, so we can just see that we need to darken here. So I'll just add another layer and then go back over. With the white to blend now obviously the white is lighting it up a little bit which is why it's just all about using those light layers building up the tones the values but we're getting there we're starting to really get there with this piece and this is all about just focusing on those tonal values focusing on your darks your lights your mid-tones Removing that colour aspect just simplifies the whole process. So I've lost that shape there, so I'm just bringing that back in. Don't think I can darken this middle section anymore, but we'll try. Yeah. Okay, right. I think we're going to leave it at this point. We've got a basic start to the eye. 
Um, so we do need to come back in and just darken some of our values, tidy it up a little bit, add a few extra details. Um, and then, uh, so we'll do that into in part two. We'll also start bringing in the outside and the shape of the eye in again a bit more. Um, and then I think I think it will be a three part series. Um, and in part three, we will do um, some of the fur around the eye just to make it in place. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, do let me know down below and I will see you in part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed to the channel already. Bye everybody.